Well, welcome back everyone. This is Sean from Having Fun Repairs. Uh, this will probably be a rather quick fix video. What I have is a uh, Little Tykes Toby uh, smartwatch. You see my this one belonging to my daughter. She's taking a picture of herself right here and, and you know, she's goofy. But anyways, um, the screen is working and yeah, it works pretty good. But this uh, this lower button has stopped working. You can see as I depress it, uh, nothing is happening with the phone. Now, what should occur is if I was to hold this down, I could actually power down the device, but it's not doing that. Um, just tapping it once, I should be able to get out of the camera mode. And then I could uh, cycle through the different things that this little toy device can do. So this video is uh, essentially going to be seeing if we can get back functionality to this button. And, uh, you know, give it back to my daughter to play with. So, without further ado, let's take it apart. Okay, not much to the clamshell. Uh, five screws and you get the back cover off. We can see the mechanism and how it plays out in here. Um, you know, if you activate Toby, he does different things when he gets excited, uh, such as sticking out his arms slash legs. And of course, just by me doing this uh, about the back case off, I just uh, cause the spring to fly across the room. So his arms, gonna have fun finding that one. But uh, anyways, now that uh, I can see how everything is set up in here, I got this recorder, two screws here. We can get the feet out and uh, we'll finish taking this the rest of the way apart. Okay, not to worry about the spring, but uh, I got some spare wire and was able to uh, make my own little spring here and we'll repurpose it. But anyways, um, back case, a uh, handful more screws, more components. Uh, there's a nick in the battery wire, which I think I might need to take care of. But uh, hold on one second. I'm gonna zoom in. Okay, so you can kind of uh, see hopefully right here. Here's the, the board of our uh, concern, okay? And then on this other side right here, there's the uh, tactile button, little aluminum, aluminum button, which should be turning on the device. I'm willing to believe that uh, it is probably corroded underneath there due to wa uh, water or something. Uh, we have our micro USB connector uh, going into there. And, uh, you know, pretty simple stuff. Let's see. Yeah. Well, there is a spot on there. And there it goes. This guy is kind of working. Uh, it's probably just going to be a clean it out and, and see how it does from there. So what I'll do is I'll pull off this um, kind of like upper layer, uh, protective layer, uh, uh, tape light layer, a 
this over this button and uh, we'll get it cleaned out underneath and hopefully that will restore the button back to how it originally worked. Okay, so I figured I'd take a stop from before I get to cleaning so you can actually see the corrosion that's, that's on here. Uh, well, like I suspected, water or something got up in here. Uh, ruined this button. But, uh, I mean, not to worry. Uh, the center part is supposed to make contact with this part. But we can get that, uh, we can get all that cleaned up. And it should restore function. Okay, well, uh, even though you saw me press the button in the video per se, um, why don't I turn it on and we can enjoy the repair experience together here. Yeah, there we go. And my fingers were kind of in the way. Yeah, the feet come out. So I think she'll be happy with that. It's not as pronounced as it was with the uh, original spring, but that's there. Well, cool. Uh, button works just fine. Screen works just fine. Now, if y'all happen to own a Toby, I want to show you something. Um, my six-year-old son actually figured this out playing around. So, if you uh, go to the uh, trophies icon, and I'll zoom in a bit. This is actually pretty cool. And you press the trophies icon. And then you just tap on the screen here repeatedly. It takes you to a uh, kind of like a uh, a test men uh, menu, factory mode.
测试测试。呃、uh, ，Chinese I think saying test test and then counting up to like five or something. Uh, you do camera test. So there goes the the front camera right here. That one. Change it. Then we get this one where you got me right here. Let's see. Test the mic. All right. We are, we already know that the uh, the speaker is working. You got sensors, so your orientation. Hey. See Bluetooth. Yep, it's found the other Toby's just fine. Uh, charger. If I had it plugged in, you would see that it was charging. But touch panel. Here goes a good one. Um, that might be a bit washed out for you. Let me turn off the light. Yeah, it looks like my uh, camera's compensating for that. Uh, yeah, it's just not gonna work. But anyways, uh, you touch it and there's this little red thing that gets drawn over this uh, display. Anyways, it's obviously not gonna show up. Because the uh, both cameras are overcompensating for that that bright light. Uh, backlight turns on and off the backlight, and then uh, reset factory mode. But uh, yeah, there you go. Let's see if I can do a uh, a recording here. Hold on one second. Okay, did a quick recording, we'll listen. Three, three, two, one. Yep, mic works. Video recording works. We can go ahead and assume that the camera works. Just fine. But anyways, well, that's gonna do it for this one. This uh, relatively quick uh, repair video. Hopefully, you've enjoyed it. Uh, and uh, you know, stay tuned for to my channel for more repairs like this. This has been Sean. Thank you for watching. Take care and goodbye.